What's up everyone? We are going to talk about Instagram's algorithm updates for December and January and going forward into 2019 for the new year. So stay with me and let's talk some Instagram. One thing you're going to notice about December's updates, and actually this was a little bit in November as well, is that Instagram deleted 174-ish million accounts. So what you're going to notice is a lot of major celebrity accounts dropped significantly in followers. Uh, Akon actually, the celebrity Akon, the singer, he lost something like 50% of his followers. A lot of other very popular Instagram users dropped significantly as well. A lot of people I follow lost hundreds of followers. And I've talked about this actually in a previous video, and you can watch that link in the description below. And I had mentioned that Instagram is basically clearing out a lot of the fakes, a lot of the spoof accounts, a lot of the inactive accounts that are extremely old. My personal Instagram account is about, uh, it's pretty old now as well, and I, I didn't actually lose any followers on, on this particular cleanup. You know, I wouldn't necessarily mind in some cases if they're removing a lot of this spoof, inactive type of accounts that are really old because the problem with Instagram's engagement algorithm is that when you make a new post, it's only shown to a certain percentage of your overall following. So what ends up happening is if you have a lot of fake, spoof, spammy accounts, your basically your post is being shown to those individuals that are not going to be engaging on your post and your real followers are going to miss out on the opportunity to engage on your post. And when those real engagement engagements happen, Instagram's algorithm basically notices that your real following is engaging on your post and it'll slowly start to trend your post a little bit upwards and hopefully catch some virality. And by, by that I mean simply reaching the explore page, reaching new potential followers that are going to uh, obviously follow you if they like your content and like your particular post that has gone viral. So one suggestion I can give you going forward for the new algorithm, and it's not even that new in the sense of Instagram's algorithm is constantly evolving and changing. So your best approach from my experience, and I've seen a few different people doing this, but you wanna post content frequently, and I'm gonna give you an example here of my uh, Doberman Pinchers Instagram account. So basically you want to throw as much quality content you can at your Instagram profile, and when you do that, you can actually gauge what type of content, first of all, Instagram likes from your account within your niche, and also what type of content your followers are going to like and engage the most with. So again, from this example of my Doberman Pinterest account, I've been able to get upwards of like 300 plus follows organically on a single video post versus, you know, I've tried running ads on uh, posts from my Doberman in the past and I get nowhere near that. So the best approach is to create lots and lots of quality organic content that your followers like and basically once you slide into that niche, you can just keep like rinse and repeat. You just keep doing the same thing. So in this example I'm showing you here, I was able to replicate the same result on three, four separate posts from my Doberman Pinscher account, which accumulated to over a thousand followers organically just from these posts. So your best approach again, find out what your followers are gonna like, what they're gonna be the highest engaged with, and constantly view those analytics in order to determine that, and then just keep pumping out that type of content. So in the example of my Doberman Pinscher, it's a Doberman dog account, so obviously people that want to see Dobermans are going to follow it. It's, it's very in line, it's a very straight line niche. Now if you look at my personal Instagram account, it's all over the place. Like I put quote pictures up, I put food, I put fitness. So what ends up happening on my personal account is that I somewhat alienate individual audiences when I post those different types of content. It's not one straight line niche, it's all over the place. So if I post a picture of steak dinner, I end up getting a lot of comments and, and whatnot from vegans, which are not too pleased about that, and even a lot of the yoga audiences that I'll, that I'll build up from posting a yoga picture. So I'll post a yoga picture, get maybe 100 yoga people, but now I post uh, a steak picture or some sort of meat, and a bunch of those people unfollow because they're all vegan and they don't want to see meat and food. Or I'll post a picture of my dog and they unfollow they don't want to see a dog. Uh, if I post a fitness picture, the yoga people don't want to see fitness and vice versa. If I post a yoga picture, the fitness people don't want to see yoga. So even if I post a quote picture, some people won't want to see quote pictures. They just want to see, you know, a motivational fitness type of content. So my best recommendation for you is as I've just given, post relevant quality content within your niche frequently and use that to gauge and determine what's going to perform the best and then just keep repeating it. Now, if you want a personal branded account where you kind of do whatever you want, and you have all sorts of different uh, content like my personal account, it's going to be a bit of a slower growth, but it's not necessary to say that you won't grow at all. So just be patient with that. Again, keep posting your content, keep 
checking those analytics to get that feedback of what's going to perform the best and it's, it's a very similar strategy as what I've already covered here. Uh, I'm going to give you another example is We The Ether Podcast, which is my iTunes podcast. If you're familiar with my YouTube channel here, you know I have a podcast, I upload videos. You're welcome to watch those, you're welcome to go to iTunes and actually listen to the podcast. But that one as well is very niche, very straight line niche and it's like motivational, spiritual type of content. So the growth on that is very consistent and steady because I just keep posting stuff that I see people like to engage with, they like to follow. So that's the strategy I recommend that you try. Now in terms of post frequency, I see a lot of different opinions on this and again, this is something like a trial and error process for you. I suggest posting every single day to start and then see how your progression is, see how your growth is with that approach and if that's not working too well for you, dial it back a bit and post every other day because Instagram's algorithm previously was recognizing posts over a 24 hour period but now it seems to actually it will start to make them viral even after 48 hours, 72 hours, and I've seen this in the case of my Doberman Pinchers posts that actually the first 24 hours it doesn't really take off, but then two, three, even up to a week later, it'll start to grab extreme momentum and then get a lot of following, a lot of engagement, and you don't necessarily have to abandon your posts after the first 24, 48 hours. Just be patient with them and allow them to grow. And in order to do that, you just post daily on top. So just post daily, constantly check back on the old analytics and that's gonna be your best approach. A lot of people will post two to three times a day. I find that that can be a little bit spammy and get a little bit clustered and a little bit hard to gauge the response rate of your following. So if you're going to try that, do it very briefly and just see how it performs for you. Um, but for the most part, you don't wanna overdo it because then you might start to actually get some unfollows from people that don't wanna see you know, three, 4,000 posts from an account. Um, they just want to, you know, they want to follow you and they don't want to get blasted with your stuff. So that's basically it. Those are the recommendations I can give you. I hope they were helpful. Hit this video with a thumbs up if you found it informative. Share it with a friend if you think it's going to help them. And otherwise, happy growth on Instagram. You can always message me on Instagram, DM me, or shoot me an email. And I'll be more than happy to help you with your growth, with your profiles, with, with all sorts of different stuff. I do these, these things through uh, the agency that I work with. And I actually got a good response rate for previous Instagram videos from people just reaching out to me for assistance. So you're more than welcome to do so and uh, I'll, I'll be happy to help you. So thanks again for watching and I'll catch you again in that next one. Take care.